Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel and uh, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, today's video is going to be about Canva and uh, it's uh, mainly for beginners if you haven't used uh, Canva before or you're still uh, trying to work out how it works. Today's video will be very relevant to you and my goal for this video at uh, the end of it, it will be to for you to be able to you know have the basic knowledge or basic techniques of how to make um, a graphics a simple graphics uh, from like social media graphics uh, to like your business graphic if you've already got a business and uh, to help you be able to grow uh, your page or whatever that you're working on but the main thing is for you to be able to use Canva and to be in able to enjoy it and play around with it and you know and uh, just uh, have fun with it because it's a, it's a really really fantastic tool to use uh, and uh, it's just uh, fantastic I love it um, but um, Without further ado, just a reminder, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please uh, do uh, press that like button and subscribe at the same time. And uh, I really appreciate that because it helps me to get all this uh, exposure and to get these videos uh, to someone who may uh, be needing this. Um, alrighty, now let's get into Canva. Um, so before you start you know, uh, playing around with these uh, graphics, you need to create an account. And Canva has got a free account that you can uh, sign up for and just uh, use uh, so many uh, tools uh, on that uh, account. It's also got the Canva Pro or Canva for Business, uh, which you have more access to other things. Uh, but uh, for this uh, tutorial, I'll sign into my um, uh, my Google account and uh, I will show you guys how to do it. So. Um, uh, for signing up, you will sign up there, as you can see, then you bring up this page and this here you can either sign with Google, or Facebook or you can use Apple in these days. So if you just want to use your email and create your password, uh, you can have that option there. So for this one, I'll just go to Google and then use my uh, Pro account, it's that one. Uh, so I can show you different things. Uh, it will be a short uh, tutorial just to uh, give you a little insight into how Canva works. So once you sign up, you are in, uh, you've got an account, uh, it's a free account, uh, so you'll have uh, this uh, uh, workspace to work on. And I'll just go through little things that you need to know before you carry on. Uh, so your account will be, your account information will be there. If I click on that, you'll be able to see all your account information there. And then to create uh, a design, it depends on what you want. That's the great thing uh, about Canva. There are all different options that you, uh, you can make. So as you can see below here, you've got Instagram, Insta intro, the thumbnail for YouTube videos, Facebook posts, and the videos, uh, even just the photo albums for your family, you know, you can uh, use all that. So it's all different uh, uh, templates that you have there. So you can also, you can see there or you can just come here and say create the design and then it will show you uh, anything that you want and you select from there. But before I do that, I'll just show you uh, this menu, this side as well. Um, the whole menu, that's where we are. So it's showing um, everything that is on the screen right now. Then you go to template. This is what you'll be using. Uh, unless you are a designer, you can design your own uh, if you like, but Canva has got everything that you can tweak and play around with you know if you're not a graphic designer you just uh, change a little bit what you, you are provided with already so you've got all these options here similar to what i was talking about before and then you've got the features that have got all different things the photos they've got the free and the paid photos so on a free account you've got different uh, uh, um, photos as well so I will show you that and as you can see all different uh, options then you, you put um, uh, this option where you can learn how Canva works as well if you want to do a Canva uh, for design course it's there you, you learn so many different things and then they put their different courses tutorials and the blog if you want to know more about branding marketing it's all there so that's why I say it's a fantastic uh, tool to have um, now coming back to this uh, left menu here, you've got once you design something, all your designs will come into a folder uh, and they'll call it all your designs. So in this uh, uh, folder, you can then separate your designs, whether it's for Instagram, for Facebook, or for business, or you know you can uh, separate them so it doesn't feel like it's a clutter really. And then uh, brand kit is where like your own brand colors or brand. Um, 
uh, fonts are you can put them in one place the ones that you use uh, more or you want to use in your uh, designs you can put them in one place and then the content planner you can plan uh, your content uh, in one area or put in one area then uh, if you've got a team of two or three then for them to have access to your account as i was saying that that account there um, then you can put them in uh, and create those uh, team members accounts so they can log in and then the folders i was saying uh, all your design you can split them into folders that i will uh, show you what i've done with my uh, some of mine and then the stuff that you like the templates that you like you want to use more you can like them and then they will always be on top when you search for uh, for stuff because they're the ones you like Alrighty, uh, without uh, wasting more time, uh, so I'll just uh, want to create a, a quick uh, graphic so I can show you because I don't want this video to, to be long, it's a basic uh, beginner's uh, uh, tutorial. So let's uh, go and create, let's see what, a uh, Facebook uh, uh, page, so I'll go to create design and then I'll come here and say Facebook post and the great thing about uh, Canva is that uh, design that is there that you, the template that you use it's already got the, the measurements already like i chose facebook so all this will fit properly into facebook uh, uh, place so if it's a youtube uh, the template is got all the measurements the dimensions that i needed for youtube it, it, it's great really you learn as a uh, as you go so let's see uh, we've got the canvas here that is clear clean for you then you can uh, find out the template that you want uh, then you can create so I'll just pick one single template that you can use here let's see what you can use um, uh, anything really uh, I'll put I'll get one with the photo so I can show you how to put the photo in as well uh, let us see Okay, let's take uh, oh, that's a video one. Uh. All right, let's take this one. Okay, you see, I've clicked on it, and then uh, straight away it comes into your uh, your canvas. Um, so that's uh, uh, the great thing about it. I'll just uh, create on it. So if you want to, well, you want to copy this uh, to have another. Uh, uh, for the copy of this so you can maybe tweak a little thing but within the same uh, template you then you can go here it says it's a uh, duplicate if you duplicate this so now you've got two as you can see um, <clears throat> so this one here I'll um, I'll change sorry yeah I want the whole thing so I will um, change that one um, I'll just okay this one I'll just make uh, uh, I'll just say Add a new page that will be blank page so I can add uh, a different a completely different uh, templates I just want to show you something else okay maybe that one so that will, we will work on that one that's it yeah okay so we've got the uh, the design there so now what you do if you click on um, I'll just click on the whole thing because I want the whole thing to be highlighted. As you can see, it's, it's, it's the whole thing, the, this line outside that guides you. So you see the color uh, for the entire uh, uh, template, it's, it's there. So you can play with the color there. If I do this, it changes the, those colors, you see. Uh, then if we click on to something else, you see, it's uh, no, the great thing about Canvas well is that it's a drag and drop. So if you... Um, um, click and drag it to move where it is so then you can drop it somewhere uh, that's the great thing and these are extra templates that have um, or elements that have been put on top of the or uh, the the main template which is this one this is the main template uh, so i can put it there and then also got filters of how to to play with this one these are the filters that you can use to play with uh, with all that <coughs> so i'll put it back there and one thing that I want to show you is uh, the photo. You see this photo? Um, they've put the photo on top of the, 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 the template. So you can take that photo out. It's gone. So you've got the space there to now put your photo. This is what I wanted to show you. So you can create a photo uh, um, template. And then to add a photo, it's easy. You go to um, photos. 
Uh, then Canva has got different types of photos uh, that you can choose. Some are free, some are paid. So for you to know if it's a, it's a paid one, if you hover over it, so it's, this one it says Pro. Uh, so you have to pay the dollar, I think, uh, uh, each photo. You, you have to pay that one. But if you want, you don't want to go through everything to see which one is free, just come up here and then select uh, the free um, free photos. So, so all in, in apply the photo. And all the photos that will come now, you will see that there is a free sign, free sign, free sign. Then you can uh, use that. Um, let's complete that. It says happy birthday, and, uh, happy Mother's Day. Is it? Yeah. So let's see if you can. <coughs> um, you can just type whatever you want there. So I'll, I'll put there and say uh, uh, Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Let's see if you'll get the, uh, the mother and daughter. That's fine. That will. That'll be good. Uh, then we'll put this one. I don't know what photo was there before, but I'll just. Um, uh, I like this one. You see, then you can just drag it and drop it into uh, that. Uh, uh, into the, the canvas that you have there. So you see, it's, it's back in there. So that's good. You can, you can drag it a bit more. So it's up to you how you want it. Uh, <clears throat> then one thing you can do, uh, you can, yeah, you can move uh, move it around, and you can even uh, you see this uh, section here. You can even make it straight uh, if you don't want it to be in a, a different angle. So there you go. Uh, so you put your photo in, then the text now, which is important. You've got text here. If you want to put the text, you click on the text that you want to change. Then you come here. And then on the left side, there will, will come all the text that. Uh, sorry, this one. Yeah, it will bring the text that you use uh, uh, that you can use, or if you put your brand uh, brand color text or your brand text, uh, it will bring the the text that you use all the time or that we've selected to use for your entire design. So um, I'll choose one. Uh, let's just stand that one. Um, you know what happened there? Let's choose it. There we go. And then you can just uh, um, drag it a little bit. Position it uh, in a nice way, that's it. There you go. And um, then you can change the color of the text. You just click on the, the, the actual text there. Uh, then the text color will come. So you've got, if you've got the brand colors, I've got these colors from my brand. And then the photo actually, um, will bring all the colors that are in there but if you want to change this for the text you just select uh, the text there um, and then you go to the color then the color will come I'll just say uh, black uh, or white if you like and see that looks a bit good so if you want to remove an element let's say you want to remove the this element here there's a tape there uh, you just do that and then uh, delete uh, or the bin, it will delete that. Uh, if you want it back in, you go to uh, arrow and then go backward, undo, and then um, it will take it off as well. So I'll take that off. <coughs> I like that photo there. And that's it. Um, so the, the, so that's your design there. So if uh, you want to, uh, this sometimes when you open a template, it's got uh, different uh, uh, texts that are grouped together. So I'll show you. See, one thing I wanted to show you was this one. You see all this text, so it's all movable at once. So you can't change any, you have to change the whole thing because it's all grouped together. So what you can do, you click on it, uh, as you can see, then you come up here on the taskbar there, you've got uh, ungroup and position. So you can just go to ungroup, it will ungroup everything. Now, if you click outside and then you, you, you select each, you see you can move it by itself. Then you can then change and type or change the font for for one uh, without affecting the other uh, you can even change the uh, the background let's see there you go um, that looks a little bit uh, better or you can even change the color if you don't want that color that it's too bright you can you know play around with the colors there as well so oh, you've got options to do everything and these different photos there uh, you can uh, change as i said you i showed you with the photos you click on one photo and then you bring uh, 
the photo and then you can bring it into that area there so it will stay there so that looks actually nice <laughs> um, so that's it yeah, guys uh, so now the last thing to do um, if maybe the photos that you don't have you have here they're not that interesting to you and you want to upload your photo you come to upload uh, and then you upload an image from your uh, from your account uh, let's say uh, from your folder the folder that you have or from Facebook or from Google Drive wherever you got your photo you can then upload it from there so I'll just pick one from my downloads and uh, I've got one there uh, let me see uh, yeah I'll take that one so you can just drag it there it will come up there or you can just select it and then press open so that's the one there so I will then once it's in there it's in your folder it will stay there until you delete it yourself uh, but otherwise it, you, you click there uh, where you want to put it and then bring it uh, just click on it, it will come here, then you just need to take it and put it where you want it. Um, as you can see, and then if you want to position it inside there, you just double click on it, uh, then it will allow you to move it around. And now after you position it nicely, then you come out of it and that's it. And the font, I already showing you the font. And So once you are happy with uh, your design, uh, the main thing is to um, and now to save it um, so you can even post uh, straight away if you've connected your Facebook to Canva you can post it straight to your Facebook page because we selected Facebook if it's Instagram it will uh, do the same as well but for this one I'm going to save it into my um, desktop or into my my folder so what I'll do I will um, press the download button there so it will select uh, the format that you can uh, save it in so this format here is PNG but you've got a different different formats you've got JPEG and uh, obviously you don't want to use a PDF for, for this uh, this is a photo um, if you've got a video in the your in your template then you can it will come up automatically as this I think it does uh, select give you the, the selection so but you have to make sure it's the right one yourself so I will select the PNG there and then these other bits are for the, the pro version so you don't need to know that now so here it will tell you as well or ask you how many pages do you want to um, download so you've got two pages there so what I'll do I'll just say two so you can see so it will save the, both of them if I say uh, one page, it will so I'll select one and then it will only save that one and leave the rest in this uh, template. So I'll just say two and then I'll press download, it will download um, and then it will come somewhere on your folder, your download folder. Uh, so let's come up to my download folder, it's up there. Because it said it will come because there's two. Uh, um, to, uh, templates on it, it comes in a zip folder. I was gonna have so that one is here, it's still loading up. Uh, but if I click on that, it will <coughs> you see, there it is. Yeah, so that's how you do it, guys. And uh, I'll go back uh, to the main home page, and that's it. Really, those are the basics uh, of Canva, so you can make it it's easy to use it, and, and you learn as you go. So, the first thing is just to try to get a free account and and then uh, work, work uh, your way around it and you'll be good and then you'll be able to see the difference in your uh, social media pages whatever you do people will notice the difference uh, uh, as you do it you'll be different from the rest of the of the public so there you go guys if you've got any questions guys i um um hope you can uh you know comment there and ask or then we can uh, uh talk about it or you know i'll do more videos on canva because i love the, the tool so i'll do um a lot of videos on that and uh with that i'll just want to say thank you for watching this guys and i'll talk to you soon on the next video thanks guys bye